In today's example, uh, we will try to send PDF reports to an email address directly from Excel and we will use ChatGPT to write uh, the VBA macro. In this Excel file, uh, we have three tabs with different reports that should be sent as separate PDF files. In the first tab, uh, we will note uh, which tab to send, uh, to what email address and what should be the subject of the email. I'll use uh, the instructions on the right to explain to ChatGPT step by step what needs to be done. So it will need to first save the tab in B1 cell as PDF file in the same folder as the Excel file, then send the PDF to the email in a B2 cell with email subject that is written in the B3 cell. Let's copy and paste these instructions in ChatGPT. And if you want to test it for yourself, you can find the prompt in the description under the video so you can easily copy and paste it. It is important to know that the response from ChatGPT will be as good as our prompt, so we need to make sure that the steps are easy to understand. Prompt engineering will probably be the next job in demand, so the earlier we start to understand how to talk to AI, the better. Now let's copy the code and go back to the Excel file. Uh, press Alt F11 to access the VBA editor. Here you will insert new module and run the code. It gave us an error and you can see in yellow that uh, what is the issue. So this code uses mail envelope to send the email, but we really wanted to use Outlook. Now let's ask ChatGPT to rewrite the code and use Outlook to send the email. And what is really cool is that it remembers our previous conversations, so this will be as easy as just asking. The more specific we get with the prompt, the better results we will receive. Now let's copy this uh, new code and replace it with the old one in the VBA editor. And if we run this code, you can see it does exactly what we wanted. Here you can see the email with the right subject and it even added a nice short message that the PDF is attached to the email. And if you open the PDF, we will see that the sales report from the tab is from the Excel file. We can still make this more streamlined because we want to send more reports and this is a repetitive task. So we can build a button in Excel that will repeat the task with just one click and we can just alter uh, small details like the email to which should be sent and uh, which report. Let's try uh, the financial report uh, to, to send it to the same email. I'll also change the email subject, but this time we will create the button. To do that, uh, go uh, to insert in the main menu and select the shape of the button. Uh, I will name the button as send report and you can also adjust the size and colors uh, for your preference. Once we are done with that, right click on it and assign macro. Then we will assign the macro we just added in the VBA editor. And now if I click the button, it will repeat the task. Uh, if we check the email, you will see we got this report with the new uh, email subject and the new PDF file. For some reason, it's not open, opening it right now, but if I download it and open, it still works. You can now use this button to send as many reports to whoever you need by just updating the information in column B and then click send report. This could be very useful if you have many reports to send and it will save you a bunch of time. I know it did for me. If you like this example, make sure to subscribe and like the video so you do not miss any new uploads.